Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Avery. Today, in this short video, we're going to be turning a grid into an isometric view. So, basically, we're going to rearrange the tile set in a 2D array to show how it could be drawn correctly and how it could be displayed for an isometric game. Because, as you know, it's shifted over, as you can see right here. So, it's not going to be all the exact view place, and we're just going to jump into that and show you the code. But once again, if you guys are new here, you already know the drill. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like the video if you guys enjoyed it. It also makes more content just like this. Also, I'm thinking that I'll be making a game, a tutorial series, or any, a short tutorial series where I'm making a strategy turn based game in this isometric view grid. So, basically, to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and ask for 75 likes. So if I can get 75 likes, I'll post my videos for that. So, if you guys are interested, Go ahead and hit that like button. It's going to help me make more videos just like this one. So jumping right into it, basically as you can see, this right here is our default grid. I'll have all the code in the description. You guys can check it out if you have any questions about it. Leave in the comment section below. I'm not going to cover everything, just the isometric view, changing this grid to an isometric view. So as you know, an isometric, it's not going to be like this. This is a regular grid for a side scroller for a top-down game. But an isometric view, it's going to shift it all over. So then this right here is actually the first column. And then it draws this one, and then this one. And that's basically it. So what we're going to do is make it so we can turn that other grid into this grid. So we have this tile right here. This is that other one that we had, and this one is the new one. I'll have some templates out there. I have these files out there too. I'll probably post it on GitHub soon, where you can basically just copy this one. But how it's going to be is it's have it at this exact same angle so you can get them perfectly lined up as you saw a second ago so what are we going to have to do to make it so our grid can be changed from something like this to something like this where it knows to draw this one first and then this one and then that one so then it doesn't overlap whenever it draws this one right here so how do we do that basically how this one is it's the x and the y for this coordinate and they all have their own coordinates as we can do in regular grid that's all we have to do but for this one we'll change it up a little bit we'll do x equals x minus y at least when you're in that for loop of two where you setting all the grid points which I'll jump in the code and show you in a minute and then this one will be y equals x plus y divided by two and that's as simple as it is really we're going to change around some things make it to so your images and the grid can fit a little bit better on the screen so we're going to use this example code and we're going to change it just a little bit so as you can see this is our loop that creates our grid it just creates a 12 by 12 and it gives in the x and y times the tile sets then it can fit in correctly and how we're going to change this just a little bit like i said it will be right here we'll put in the y times the tile size and then this one right here will be plus so that one you plus, well, there's J right there already. So plus I times tile size. And then once you do that, like I said, this one right here is going to be divided by two. And that's basically going to rearrange it so it's in the correct order. And you can go ahead and shift it around, make it so it's in the center of your screen. For me, the best way to do that, to make it so it's actually in the right position on my screen and everything was the right size. I actually changed it up just a little bit more. I divided this one by two and then I divided this one by four. So it's still so it's still divided by two. And then I moved some things around. I think we can add 140 right here. And then right here we can add 426. And just by doing that, that's gonna rearrange it. So let me actually run it it's going to rearrange and look just like this also as you saw i have this selector item and it also shows the coordinate it doesn't show the coordinate of the mouse it shows the coordinate of which tile in the grid it's touching so basically how to do that is just to see if the mouse is touching one of the grids you figure out which one is touching and then you give it the exact same destination for the draw to draw this selected icon and then you can also pass in that number to write to the mouse location and it's as simple as that. So once again, if you guys are interested in more detailed explanation of all this, so we can make a short game in an isometric view, 
go ahead and hit that like button if we can get 75 likes i'll release some new videos on doing stuff just like that and if you guys need a channel feel free to hit that subscribe button and see you guys next time